Paul Barlow was a Polish engineer who pioneered the development of computer networks. He was one of the two independent inventors of packet switch networking. Paul Barlow was born in Grodno, Second Polish Republic on 29 April 1926. In 1928 his family moved to the United States and settled in Boston and later in Philadelphia. He attended Drexel University where he earned a degree in electrical engineering. He obtained his master's degree in engineering from the University of California. After joining research and development corporation, Barron decided to conceive a system that could operate even if many of its links and centrally switching facilities would be destroyed. At the time, his idea was considered as unfeasible, but working with colleagues at Rand, Barron persisted. This effort would eventually become the foundation of the World Wide Web. In 1962, when the United States and USSR were involved in Cuban Missile Crisis, a nuclear war seemed imminent. Each country pondered post-nuclear attack scenarios. US authorities considered ways to communicate in the aftermath of a nuclear attack. How could any sort of command and control network survive? Paul Barron offered a solution. After years of development, he eventually designed a survivable network that could provide uninterrupted connection. The distributed network would use information divided into blocks. Therefore, the data could travel faster. Each block would be sent separately and rejoined into hall when it was received at its destination. Donald Davis, who worked independently at the National Physical Laboratory in England, devised a similar system. While Barron used the term message blocks for his units of communication, Davis used the term packets, a term that was eventually adopted instead of Barron's message blocks. Barron was happy to acknowledge that Davis came up with the same idea as him quite separately. In an email to Davis he wrote, You and I share a common view of what packet switching is all about, since you and I independently came up with the same ingredients. This method of packet switching is a rapid store and forward design. When a node receives a packet it stores it determines the best route to its destination and sends to the next node on the path. If there was a problem with a node, or if it had been destroyed, packets would be simply routed around it. In 1969, this distributed concept was given its first large-scale test and was called ARPANET, and it was intended for scientists and researchers who wanted to share one another computers remotely. Within two years, however, the network's users had turned it into something unprecedented. A high-speed electronic post office for exchanging everything from technical to personal information. In 1983, the rapidly expanded network broke off from its military part, which became Milnet. In 1989, the ARPANET moniker was retired in favor of the Internet.